Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Al Capone is rubbing his hands of happiness and anticipation of what brothers will do to brothers, which is South Korea and North Korea getting at it. Not like in a love embrace, but in a wrestling match, which is total destruction. The same thing as Al Capone rubbed his hands like this when they saw, or he saw, cousins getting at it, which is Ukrainians and Russians, for the same interests, which are not Russian, Ukrainian, South Korean, or North Korean, are far away from those territories. Before I start the, reading the article that I'm going to, going to feature in this video, I will show you what video I made two days ago, because you see, weasels don't like chronology of events. They like pick and choose and ignore what they don't like, because it doesn't fit their narrative. The narrative here is the North Koreans will attack and attack South Korea, escalate and provoke, and United States of America will help the forces of good. The problem is we have a chronology of events and a memory. And we still can read, uh, unfortunately, they still allow us to access past articles and reports. So, two days ago, that was on the 4th, I made this video with this title. US plus South Korea provoke North Korea. Hold live fire drills near North's border. Airstrikes at targets. Remember, these guys conducted a drill at the border of North Korea using live ammunition. Okay? And the other guys, North Koreans, the woodchuck, was supposed to with the remote control. <laughs> but he didn't. He responded. And there we go to the art today's article, which gets closer to Al Capone's goal. The same as in Ukraine. Fix things. Fix things. And that article is from Business Insider, right here. North and South Korea fire hundreds of artillery shells along tense sea border. Why? And I'm going to read the first, not only, but the first, uh, how do you call it, paragraph. Tells us that um, someone escalates, okay? North Korea fired over 200 artillery shells towards a South Korean island. That's where their chronology of event starts. Not here. Here. Why did they fire over 200 artillery shells towards a South Korean island? I tell you. So when those guys were firing over there, the next day North Koreans fired towards and all these guys start firing and these guys start firing. Who started it? The drills. Oh, why were the drills over there? Why were you over there? Why we still have a divided Korea? Because it works very well for some interests that are doing exactly this. Who's going to be the profiteers? Always look at this. One of the issues. Who's going to profit? Que bono. Who's going to benefit out of this? It's not going to be you and I. It's going to be the manufacturing companies, the arm companies, weapons manufacturing companies. It's going to be the banks. It's going to be the reconstruction, if there's anything else to reconstruct. Local media said South Korea later fired 400 rounds. So see, the chronology starts from North Korea did it, and then South Korea later fired. This is spinning the news. In, all fi in, in a live fire drill, Associated Press reported. South Korea called the in incident a provocative act. North Korea says it was a natural response. Now, who's right? Who is right? North Korea launched over 200 rounds of artillery shells off its west coast towards South Korea, Pyeongchongchong Island, between 9 and 11 local time, said Seoul military, the BBC reports. When? What happened prior to that? Don't ask. Don't tell. Right, Bill Clinton? Fucker. South Korea responded, it responded by ordering civilians on the islands to seek shelter and conducting live fire drills as a countermeasure. So they are 
how do you call that, um, considerate of civilians, unlike the woodchuck, who has his nation as slaves. No, these guys, first thing, make sure the civilians, are you okay? I'm evil, are you okay? And then he said, we're going to show you now what's going on. Chick, chick, let's go. Oh, my God. And again, look over here. Yongpyang Island, home to a military base. And 2,000 people is a few miles from North Korean coast. It was a conflict flashpoint in 2010 when a North Korean artillery barrage killed two soldiers and two, military, two, two civilians. Now, given how these guys reported this, when they say it was a conflict flashpoint in 2010 when a North Korean artillery barrage killed. Again, I have questions. Who started it? Because I am very skeptical that again the North Koreans just woke up with a hard on and said, we're gonna do it, baby. No, no. And again, <laughs> look at this garbage right here. South Korea retaliated. That means answered back by ordering marines and two border islands to fire artillery shells south of the sea boundary later on Friday. Yeah! All right. Despite South Korea condemning the actions, a provocative act, North Korea denied that its barrage posed any threat. They did not breach South Korean territory and all projectiles landed in the buffer zone between the two countries, it says. Like you did the military fire ammunition, fire live Bobby Boo two days ago. You didn't threaten anybody, did you? No. And these guys reacted, and now you reacted to their reaction. So you act, the North Koreans react, and you react to the reaction of the action. <sighs> South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said that the artillery fire caused no damage to our people or military, but stressed that such actions threaten peace on the Korean peninsula and raise tensions. So don't react, North Korea. Only we can act. You see, such actions threaten peace on the Korean peninsula and raise tensions. Got it? Tensions along Papa Mountain. Good. Great. Communist South Korea. Ching Pong Ping. Ching Pong Bong. Bi Ba Fang Fang Fong. Solution? Well, solution should be maybe kicking some occupation forces out of your land, dropping your beak or making your beak pop, 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 a little bit smaller and talk to the North Koreans as you would talk to human beings. That means don't dehumanize them. And don't listen to those guys across the Pacific, the Zimbabweans, okay? Let them be. That a, a, would be a good start. But if you treat them like that, but the point is, these guys are under, are under occupation. The point here, these guys want to see a war, a s splendid little war, as Teddy Roosevelt said about what? American-Spanish war with a garbage in the Bay of Havana, Cuba, if you remember. That lie again, the same lie as they did in the Gulf of Tonkin in Vietnam. About what? Almost six years ago, 60 years later. More than 60, wasn't it? Anyway, the same. Oh, we were attacked in the um, Havana Bay, Cuba. No, your stupid mofo vessel blew up. That's how they, they, they found out. It was a lie again. The, how do you call it? The, where you hit it? The heat, not the heaters, where you hit the shit. With a, sorry. How is that called, man? The big revolution of the what engine? engine. What was it, an 18 something? In England, Great Britain. Oh. oh fuck. Anyway, the, um, whatever exploded and say oh, it was those. Let's use this as a reason. We can kick Spain out forever from the area. And that's how they did it. People died for that, remember? Lives were shattered. Kid children were crying for their parents or fathers. They don't care. These are criminals. So the same here. We reacted. No, you reacted to a reaction to your action. You initiated with Al Capone. Al Capone initiated. He's just pushing you against one another, man, to fight. Hey, can you beat that guy? Uh, yeah, I can beat him. Oh, did you, see, did you hear what he said? He said, he can, you can beat, he can beat you. No, he can beat me. Hey, he said, oh, and they fight and you're like, <laughs> fucking retards. 
That's exactly how they think. And you guys are going to get in trouble. You're going to destroy your nations, culture, civilization, traditions, people. You're going to flanding and then guess who's going to come and reconstruct if there's anything else left? The same guys who said, hey, hey, he said he can beat you. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, no, he can't. Hey, hey, he said he can beat you. No? Okay, get at it. That's exactly like that. So, I know the Koreans are not dumb. That is another option then. Traitors? Weasels? Weasels are not necessarily uh, stupid, just to, to make a uh, um, little clarification here. They act in sleazy ways. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.